I feel very sorry at this point for the terrestrials here, the people that are so glommed on, but I think it's because that there's a pride there. You know, there's a there's an anger and a pride that gets them to reject God and then therefore take the world and the earth and everything into their own hands, you know, that this is theirs and they're going to rule and they're going to dominate and, you know, and, and you know who they are. Um, well, they have no domination over me, I can tell you that, because I've been set free by the Lord Jesus Christ. I, there is no domination. There is, you know, I'm uh, a completely 100% free spirit. And, uh, you know, that most free spirits are who they... I saw this one gang stalking video recently where the guy was saying, you know, they're targeting free spirits. And I thought, well, that's that guy's got a little bit of insight anyway. Most people don't realize that the gang stalking is a manifestation of spiritual warfare. They still think it's some, you know, they're, they're like, like the movie The Game, which is the ultimate gang stalking movie, right? And they, they had to put, they have this whole room where they keep planning out all these plots against the people they're targeting. And there isn't a room like that. There's, there's nothing like that. Uh, the people in the club there gave a clue. They're, they were in Satan's club. And they were nodding and winking and, and they were quoting from the Bible and that, that shows me it's satanic. And, uh, they weren't alluding to the game. They were talking about being in the club, which makes you exempt from the targeting. People in the club are not targeted. Well, and I saw another video somebody sent me of, uh, of an actor, <clears throat> a guy who used to be an actor in Hollywood or whatever, and he was being targeted. Very similar to the Randy Quaid situation. I have no doubt. Of, of course, I mean, the worst targeting I went through was in L.A. I mean, it was just terrible. You know, very high tech, too. I mean, just it, extraordinary amounts of money spent. Why, I don't know. I don't really want to know. I just call it evil. And people caught up in it are very evil. But make no mistake, you know, when someone is targeted and, you know, it's in a city like Los Angeles or Chicago or, or New York or something, you have to understand pretty much the whole city that's in on that side of things. They're in on it. They know who you are. <laughs> they know what's happening to you. They're just the guy, you know, the, the, who you've never met before. He knows all about you, just like they knew all about Truman when they watch him on the uh, closed circuit TV. They, they're watching him on TV, the Truman Show, and they all know Truman, but he doesn't know them. And that's how it works. And yeah, the, the, the established, you know, world is in on that gang stalking. And of course, it, it has manifestations of people hijacking. They used to say, well, they'd hijack satellites and microwave people. No, the satellites are not hijacked. Yeah. <laughs> There's <isn't> some fridge, <laughs> you know, breakaway, um, criminal group that's got the codes illegally so they can beam the satellites on people they don't like. No, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it goes to ground central, okay? They're doing it. Just like when you saw the Snowden thing, you know, you saw the, the guy was doing drones 24-7, 365. The drone room, right, the drone screen, and they're blowing up one person, blowing another up. Yeah, they're going at it all the time. So just imagine a screen like that instead of drones. They have, you know, people that they're tracking, right? Using the cameras and the cameras are automatically aligned. You know, they will follow, if they want to follow a person, that, that person will be on their screen 24 hours a day. And then they could push buttons like make that person anxious, make them bummed out, you know, uh, you know, call, push another button and they'll be alerting people to, uh, you know, street theater, gaslighting, and all the rest of it. But now it's mainstream, you know? It's like the ultimate gaslighting now would be Antifa, right? And um, the hostilities in uh, the news media try to ruin people's lives, you know? People don't even care anymore. It's not working. But yeah, it's with the technology that's available. Every single person can be stalked, and what they're going to stalk is they're going to be people that are, you know, when I say free spirit, it means they're not tethered to the world system in that, in any way, shape, or form. They're really free spirits. And there's, you know, 
uh, in any society, there's plenty of those. But in our society, for some reason, those are persona non grata if they don't basically kill themselves and, and join the fold and then just be an idiot and do what they're told. You know, I mean, it's, in other words, you don't have a life at all. So th- at least they're living. The goal of these gang stalkers, uh, you know, the civilization is what I should call it. The goal is to stop the individual from succeeding wherever he may be is to form a great collective and force people into it or kill them. I mean, that's been, you know, it's been that way in, in, in grade school, high school, kindergarten, you know, we form societies and we decide who's cool and who's not, who's in and who's out. And, you know, we torture the ones who are the, the outcasts. We torture those kids that are the misfits. We torture them and make them want to kill themselves. How's that any different? It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's all a manifestation of that inner, that flawed and fallen inner being, which is why we need Jesus. We need Jesus in order to, um, but it's not this abstract thing of just like, I think about Jesus, therefore, no, it's, 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 it's got to be real. He must change us so we don't project, we need a new heart, right? So right, that means a new, a new everything, right? A redo. Because we don't want to project evil and call it good. Humans project evil and they call it good. Because they're projecting that which is inside of them. So what's Satan? No, Satan's just bringing out what's there. Embracing the fall. And with Christ, in Christ, you know, the fall is beaten. It's beaten. Therefore you may love. Dance and sing now. <laughs>